Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a retro movie review on Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. Yes, um, I am now doing the second Fantastic Beasts movie. Obviously the third one is coming out very, very soon, The Secrets of Dumbledore. I've also done a video on the first one. Now we're going to be looking at the second one. Uh, this one here stars uh, Jude Law uh, as well as Johnny Depp. Um, and uh, Johnny Depp is playing Grindelwald. We've got Eddie Redmayne as well, obviously coming back as Newt Scamander. And then Jude Law himself is playing Albus Dumbledore. Uh, there's some extended cast in this movie. Zoe Kravitz, Ezra Miller. Um, they're the ones that I kind of can remember. But um, yeah, this film as a whole. Now you can see this film here I do have in 4K and I gotta say I really do like the look of this artwork and stuff. The slipcover itself is really nice and just it's just a nice package uh, to be honest with you. The film itself though, I'm not really, I'm not really blown away by it. It's better for me than the first one, which that in itself is very um, controversial because a lot of people do, did like the first one. I really didn't like that. So if you didn't miss that, please go back and watch that video, as I say. But I preferred this one. I did. I think this one had more of a story to it. There was definitely a lot more action in there. We actually got back to go to uh, Hogwarts, which is there. I think the effects came, a, well, they just came a long way. The animals didn't look, um, I say the animals, the beasts didn't look like too cartoony, as I said that they did in the first one. I actually watched this one, um, obviously in 4K Dolby Atmos. Um, as you see here on the back, we've got, um, you know, Dumbledore's all, it just felt more like Harry Potter, um, which isn't a bad thing. And, you know, it, it's a nice spin and prequel, obviously, to the Harry Potter movies. You know, there's certain things in these films that kind of crop up. Um, you know, Johnny Depp as well playing Grindelwald, but his wand is the Elder Wand, which obviously is the whole story of Harry Potter, especially towards the end of those movies. Um, that's Dumbledore's wand. So kind of know where this is probably going to end. He's probably going to take the wand for himself. It's not really a spoiler. It's pretty obvious. But it was really, really cool. I really, really enjoyed it. There was also a nice mention of Professor McGonagall. It was like a younger version of her. So I was like, wow, I didn't expect that at all. I just didn't think she was as old as Dumbledore, but you know, she would be, I guess. But yeah, I think it did a really, really good job. For me, anyway, I know this film was heavily criticised online. People didn't really rate it. They didn't really prefer it. They didn't. They preferred the first one. This one, I thought, was quite good. Johnny Depp, obviously, is in the second one playing Grindelwald, but he's not going to be in the third one. Um, we all know why. But I think he did really, really good in this film. I, I think this is a perfect role for him, especially with all the, you know, the look of Grindelwald, the whole blonde with the one eye. The film started fantastically, like they busted Grindelwald out of like prison and oh my god, like it was a really, really good sequence with really good sound and good visuals as well. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. I kind of am a bit thing about Mads Mikkelsen obviously picking up the role, but you know, we, we'll see, I guess. I just wish they kept the look the same. I, you know, they could have just gave him the same look, but they've totally changed the look. Obviously, I, mean, I guess he is a different person, but it is one of those things um one thing i will criticize about the film though is i did have to read up a little bit about it after because i kind of don't understand Ezra miller's role in these films i, I mean i kind of do now but you know he's uh, playing this weird guy but there's like a bit of a thing at the end i'm not going to spoil it but it does make sense but i kind of have to read up after it. so when you watch a film that's never a good thing when you have to like read up about what actually happened but but yeah for me i'm going to rate this movie a 6.5 out of 10 it is one of those films where it's just average. It's it's good. I think everything in this film just looked visually appealing. You know, Eddie Redmayne as well. I'm just going to touch on him a bit more. You know, I think he, he just did what he did in the first one, which I didn't think was bad anyways. I think he was really good in the first one. And I think he's really, really good in the second one. So, you know, I, I wouldn't criticise him. The extended cast as well was, was okay. You know, I think it's got a good balance between family as well as, um, you know, being a bit dark. But it's also not too dark in my opinion. I think it's actually more family than, than the Harry Potter films were really dark, especially towards the end of of course but um no i will definitely give this a 6.5 out of 10 so there it is guys there is my review of the fantastic beast movie of course the next couple of videos now are going to be the new fantastic beasts film which i am really much looking forward to seeing to be honest with you i do think it looks really good i'm intrigued to see how mads mickelson is going to perform and um of course where the story is going to go with dumbledore being very much the focus of the story so uh so yeah let me know your thoughts down below have you seen the fantastic beast movie recently obviously with the new one coming out let me know your thoughts down below and of course please do subscribe like and share the video if you are liking what you see here stay tuned for more videos coming soon and of course i'll see you in the next one goodbye guys mm -hmm.